Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we've got for you today. But first, an important word from our sponsors. Hey man, I'm sorry that date didn't work out so well. Yeah, it was a bummer. I don't know what happened. Everything was going so good. We we're getting hot and heavy, then she just bolted. Yeah, she she mentioned that. What'd she tell you? Um, she said that it looked like you had a loincloth under your boxers. Like, she didn't even know that much pubic hair was possible. It looked like you had got it extensions and a Brazilian blowout. Like, you had Hagrid's face in a leg lock. Like, an old, wet dog had found a raccoon and some eggs to roll in. That you had gotten naked earlier in the day, and you were rolling around a barber shop. A really busy, busy one. She really told you a lot, huh? Yeah, she said that your left nut looked like a really dirty old gold prospector and your right one looked like a grizzled sea captain. Yeah, I gotta go to Manscaped. Yeah, um... I don't think there's gonna be a second date either. She figured out that the picture you sent before the date wasn't your lap filled with Italian sheepdogs. She didn't show you the picture, did she? Didn't look good, buddy. Guys, don't let unwanted body hair get in the way of your good stuff. Go to manscaped.com forward slash angry joe show for 20% off and free shipping. It's time for a new look. Get Manscaped today. That was an important word. Don't yeah. ruin your dates. <laughs> yeah, people talk. Take care of your downstairs. You'll, you'll look better and you will smell better. Grab those links down below, guys. They got body wash. They got shampoo. Try something else in your bathroom and make you feel good, guys. Um, all right. So before we jump into the gaming news, uh, AJS news. So uh, we are currently working through Shredder's Revenge and Starship Troopers. So expect something on those. And uh, as you can see here, Alex is uh, now demoing one of my shirts. I took mine home. Joe took his home and forgot to show <laughs> it up today. But guys, we got brand new shirts in the store directly supporting our show. Warhammer kind of inspired uh, shirts that we'll be doing as exclusive things. So this is my month because it was my birthday. <laughs> Thank you all for the wonderful birthday wishes over the weekend. And uh, and so I got uh, my version. Then we'll do Alex and we'll do Joe and we'll do like a combined one as we do like uh, some new shirt designs in the merch store. So thank you guys so much uh, for supporting us and supporting our independent artist friend, Chad, uh, at Rogues Apparel. So, okay. So what has happened over the past week? Uh, There's a lighter week, but we did get some okay. major announcements. Uh, but first, we're going to pay some respects to uh, an, an old MOBA. Heroes of New Earth has shut uh, down today. The the DC MOBA, you remember that, Joe? Would you could play oh, a Superman? God. God, I miss that. I want to play a Superman. I wish it would have been more popular, but no, this was Heroes of what? Heroes of New Earth. Uh, of New it Earth. came out in 2009, right after people were playing. You know, So Dota was originally, uh, there was a StarCraft, and then there was WarCraft 3, and that's what really, really blew up. And then so two companies came out, and they're like, oh, this is our game. It's like, well, you, you took it from the community, and you claimed it as your own, but what, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and so League of Legends and Heroes of New Earth. Um, I played Heroes, for, uh, Heroes of New Earth for a little while, but I was still playing a ton of League. Yeah. Uh, it was okay. It just didn't have the, it couldn't compete with Dota 2. It really couldn't compete mm. with League of Legends. Uh, and so yeah, didn't have Superman in it or Harley Quinn. Definitely did not. So when was the last time you that played? That was it? Infinite Crisis, is what the name of that one was. Oh, Heroes of New Earth. Oh, it's I mean years and years. it's been a long, long time. So you're like, eh, all right. All right. I saw it coming. I mean, like a decade Sad ago, day. like the, the the group of people that I played with switched over to League, and so we just been playing never looked back. So, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Well, we'll see if MOBAs are uh, going to be a continued thing if we get a bunch of new MOBAs. Uh, the a next generation of There's MOBAs, one, or if Gate. it's a uh, passing fad that's over with. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if there was there was it because it kind of was a passing fad. Imagine all the MOBAs that I didn't. It doesn't make sense to me that that one's still not running. I, I think the DC universe is perfect for that, but I guess if they don't make dirty money in MOBAs anymore, or they don't make League of Legends money, they shut them down. There was even a Warhammer one. I, wasn't there a Warhammer MOBA? I think there was a Warhammer mobile at one point that got shut down. Come to tell us. Or it was in. So, yeah, yeah. If you, you, you help remind me. There's a lot of them. Some of them. Some of them I don't really think there was bad. a Marvel one yet, though. Or maybe there was. I don't know. But we'll see what happens with MOBAs moving forward. But sad day for um, Heroes of New Earth fans. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, well, we talk about closed down things, so we're talking about Stadia again. I thought <laughs> we would not be talking about this anymore no. because it died, but no, we're talking about Stadia. Stadia closed down. Uh, apparently, Thanks. a game that OJ and I played a whole lot of. The quarry Still I don't. Uh, was apparently <laughs> going to be a Stadia <laughs> game, uh, signature what? Stadia release, which may speak to its yeah. quality. So they must have spent so much money just to get the quarry, yeah, I, I, and then they shut down, and then, and then they're spe- they're selling their parts still, right? I don't think it was exclusive to Stadia. I think it was just going to be featured on Stadia, right? Uh, So, yeah. So, Justin uh, Rowland's game, High on Life, you know, the Rick and Morty game, were initially being developed with Google's assistance and intended to launch on Stadia. Yeah. uh, Until Google's like, man, no one one got Stadia. This is a (laughs) a terrible, terrible idea. Shit. Um, And so, instead, you know, they've got the normal release uh, from 2K and Supermassive Games. So, but... No one would have seen that coming. Yeah. No one would have played it <laughs> like if it just been like on stadia uh stadia still does have some exclusive games right guilt pac-man mega tunnel battle mm-hmm. and uh people still play it yeah. i learned that from the comments yeah it's not dead <laughs> are you still play it <laughs> yeah you seven of you can still be <laughs> playing those games but cool all right uh we've got great news if you are activision activision blizzard oh uh, yeah has been the, there was a full investigation there is no evidence of widespread misconduct at Activision Blizzard. Totally great day. The guys at Activision Blizzard decided to investigate themselves. They found no, no evidence wrong of wrongdoing. So. What about this, sir? Hide that shit. Um, <laughs> Hide that shit. There's nothing going on here. Wow. Um, they get to investigate how, themselves? How's that even legal? Interesting. Well, I mean, it's, this isn't a criminal investigation. They just wanted to They wanted to put out the, the headline that... Oh, that we did a thorough investigation. Conclu- conducted by the Board of Directors acknowledges there was some substantial instances of gender harassment. Oh, but, but the, ins- okay. the issues were not systemic. Okay, not um, systemic. Yeah, you know, meaning it, not every single person on campus did it because that's what they would make their version of systemic mean. Um, yeah. So contrary to many of the allegations, there is no evidence to suggest who is this that Article Activision- Four because this is a fucking joke. Well, I don't is know. Who, really? I don't know who this is, but you know. <laughs> Look, there's not a lot of news. I'm going I'm to read this, all right? They found that the the senior executives never intentionally ignored or attempted to downplay the instance of gender harassment that occurred and were reported because they are very honest. They are very trustworthy. Get the when fuck they out investigate of you. themselves, they're like, you know what? Bill's a great guy. It's like, but you're Bill. He's are like, you yes, kidding I, me? Bill is a great guy. I thought yeah. you were going to say Bill Cosby. Like, that just reminds me, me of the Cosby police. Suite, yeah. You know how the police always investigate themselves. Who and watches found, the Watchmen? Found no wrongdoings. Yeah. yeah okay. It's fine. Sure, Activision. We believe you. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a bad news if you uh, are on the board of directors of Activision. Diablo Immortal uh, is a game that came out, and it's pr- people don't like it. Uh, the rating's really low. They're spending a good amount of money, but and the, the market they're counting on is the Chinese market, yeah. and the Chinese launch is delayed. Now, this is a weird story that could be big, and we don't know what what's... So, right now, NetEase is sl- saying that there's an optimization adjustments that need to be made, but... This is, uh, this is only temporary, Alex. There's too much money involved. I, I, I understand, but they also got the their, their uh, Weeaboo, which... What is their Chinese Twitter? Their account just got deleted uh, by the government was banned from making new posts for violation of related laws and regulations. So there's some things happening that's preventing their game from being launched because they don't need any more optimization. The game is actually running just fine. So China has been limiting the amount of games that be coming out, and it, this could be that China just saying, look, we're going to delay it even longer. But this is a big thing because they were planning on this money really coming in now mm. because they're not making the dirty money that they thought they were right. going to be making. In they, fact, they meticulously plan per quarter which, which games one? are coming out in order to keep mm. the company yeah. going. So right now they've made $24 million, uh, in the in the two weeks. Which sounds absurd, but when you, consider, it's for them. when you consider Candy Crush and all those other things, yeah, these that's are, nothing. This is not this is not huge numbers that they thought. Now this game is good. Already, yeah, absolutely good. So the game is already out in South Korea. It's already out in Japan. It's out in the United States. But they don't have that. Chi- we don't have the Chinese market yet. So we're going to see what happens when that launches. And anything uh, to fuck this up. Anything. Thank Say, you, Chinese keep, government. Keep pospo- postponing it. Whether keep it's doing it over and over. Whether and it's over. all the other mobile games in China that are making dirty money and saying like, "Hey, man, don't approve that." No, but delay them again, no, man. No, delay, it, man. You want again. some money there? There's some money for you. There's some money for you. Some we'll money for your grandma. Here you go. Here you yeah, go. See, take that. It's not coming delay out it. ever. Delay it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I need I need that shit delayed, man. Fuck fuck Activision, fuck Diablo Immortal, and honestly, fuck the people who say I don't see anything wrong. There's no problem with the game. I'm doing just I'm playing it for yeah. You're contributing to the destruction of a franchise. That's the one thing they never see it because they're casual and they don't care about Diablo. They don't care about gaming. They don't care about triple A. They care about you know instant gratification and playing uh, Diablo while they're taking a shit on the commode. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked this tweet from Skill Up. So Diablo 3 uh, made $210 million in its first 24 hours. So basically Blizzard worked for five years to make a Diablo game that is roughly 10% as successful as a the game they released 10 years ago. Plus they snagged the record for the lowest user score on Metacritic. Good job, Blizz. Nailed it. Well, I mean, it's exactly right. And Blizz, uh, Skill you know, Up, put, put that there. That's good. Uh, I played Diablo 3 all weekend. There's like a The problem group with of that them. is over time, those mobile oh, games sure. make more money because... It is a constant money dump. Yeah. Obviously, Blizzard, you know, the numbers for the previous game is a one-time shot, yeah. and you're not getting that anymore. So, uh, you know, I, I think Blizzard is like, yeah, we're not seeing the numbers we want here, but as soon as China rolls in and as soon as we start turning that 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 dial. microtransaction dial up, you, yeah. boy, they, they already got the whales, right? They, they got some make- massive whales already, so they're going to turn that dial, boy, mm-hmm. I tell you. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The the mobile game market can be kind of fickle, so this may. They, I mean, they're hoping it's Call of Duty Mobile, you know, hundred and fifty, two hundred fifty yeah. million dollar a year property, and if it this may not live up to that because the, the it's yeah. starting slow and it may blow up when the Chinese market opens up because I mean, who knows how much they're going to spend? Yeah, it's a lot, and it might get canceled. I hope. Or the support will reduce for it, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Because these companies build this massive infrastructure for it, and they need a massive money inflow in order to continue it. So, because I've seen, you know, other other mobile clicker games shut down when they're making money. Mm-hmm. It's just like they're not making enough, enough money. Yeah. So anytime. That I, I don't want to say, yay, good, they made $24 because it's fucking terrible. I hate that. Yeah. But it, it, anytime they're making less money than they feel like they should, good. Yeah, exactly. Good. Uh, and to, to kind of reiterate that point, so we talked last week about someone who had spent $10,000 uh, and Holy got no, le- no five-star gems. I remember gems. that. <laughs> uh, well, that streamer finally got it. Uh, what? It took 16,000, well, it's 25,000 New Zealand, but it's 16,000 Six. US dollars to get the first five-star legendary gem. 16,000 dom for, over here. For one. 18 dollars for blue, and this guy, and in Diablo Mortar, 16,000 dollars for a gem? Are you talking wow. about the real gem, like the biggest diamond in the world? Okay, then it's no the digital gem. No, then no, fuck you. What a sixteen thousand. <laughs> oh my! And God. it's still going, right? He's still streaming. No, no, no. At that, right after getting the gem, he ended up deleting his character, uninstalling Diablo Immortal, and tweeted some nasty things. At He's them. fucking pissed. And it's just like the, it, <laughs> so. Yeah, but he got all the drama views and clicks out oh, of that shit sure. that he needed, right? It, it's it's his audience that's funding that, uh, rather than him being a fucking complete idiot, <sighs> though I guess he kind of are, but then also people who don't have a YouTube are doing that. Whales are doing that, you know, uh, and, and that's uh, depressing because it sends uh, Activision the wrong message. Mm-hmm. It's It's a damn shame, and I, you know... You don't want that stuff to spill over into Diablo 4. Now, have you seen all the articles saying... I, 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 You know what? I didn't even fucking open a single article because it's like Blizzard says that that will not happen. That this is going to be a different kind they of monetization. No pay to win. It's, it's no but, pay to win. But convenience, conveniences are clear. like... All the, the style of game, it's common for people to pay for stash tabs, to yeah. pay for, uh, you know, retooling your character rather than grind to reset all your character points and do all the horrible things that you have to do. Pay me a dollar and I'll let you reset that massive skill tree that if you click wrong, you're fucked. So it's like there's all sorts of things yeah. to do. Uh, if you have the niche for, Di- for Diablo Immortal, just play Diablo 3. It was fun. Yeah. You played it some this weekend. Yeah. I played a bunch of it this weekend. We went through the whole new season. I'm about done. Because, you know, you play it for bursts. There's and lots of games. Lots of good games out there that you don't need to support th- this kind of stuff. No, you don't. That will, what will it do? It will proliferate more like it. Spill we don't shit need that. everywhere. Yeah. Um, and see, and the reason why Diablo and Activision can say that, oh, 
well, this won't be in Diablo 4, don't worry, is because they know that they need a game to placate the AAA gamers and the people to give them the pedigree. The only reason they are able to make that kind of money off of one of their license, Diablo Immortal, is because of how legendary mm -hmm. these games were. Not the merits on a microtransaction filled pay-to-win system, but rather a pure, clean, badass genuinely fucking well-directed series. But Diablo 3 was kind of a piece of shit. And I mean kind of, and that's being generous. Diablo 3 was yeah. kind of a piece of shit and it made $210 million yeah. in its first week. Yeah, and it had so, problems too. The, oh, you know, the auction house problem. was a mess. There was also, all uh, people couldn't mess. connect. All we, like, there yeah. was a bunch of issues with it. Diablo 4 comes out it's probably, you know, if oh, it's going to do if well. Blizzard, if Blizzard's not on fire, it's going to make three hundred million dollars its first day. Sure, and so that's big money, and they need like you, they need those kind of they things. They need so that. It's not like it's a necessarily a loss leader. They're still going to make fuck you money yeah. on the game, but but man, Alex, I was so concerned that you were going to come to me. Uh, Diablo Immortal made three hundred million in its first two fuck weeks, that. or five hundred million in its first two weeks. Shit, like. Like Clash of Clans numbers or whatever yeah, that game but is. But we have to wait. If that fucking happened, we're fucked. We are we're fucked. fucked. That's why we're monitoring the China thing so Got to monitor it. Because as soon as it releases there, if it makes the dirty money yeah. that they're hoping it makes, here comes man. all the rest of their that's dead franchise. Bad. That's a bad time. So yeah. Diablo Floor is going to be like Genshin Impact. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's StarCraft. They'll do a StarCraft one, and I don't know what else. I'd like. Mm, yeah. It's a great gameplay. StarCraft Mobile. They'll bring Ghost back and then just mobile transactions. It's, it's, it's a ridiculous clicker. and Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. All right. OJ, what do you got? You got good news, right? Yes, good news. Uh, Gotham Knights is going to be bigger than Arkham Knights. Batman Arkham Knights. Uh, you bigger. You thought uh, Gotham was big. Just wait till you play Gotham Knights. You can explore everywhere. Okay. For the most part. I thought you said it was going to be a bigger game than the original. 300 like, gigs. Oh, uh, no. We mean physically bigger. Physically, okay. Oh, a explore, gigabyte download. You can oh, more of the okay. Gotham City. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You go more places. So. Okay. So That'd be pretty interesting. I, I, yeah. I mean, I don't know why I'm more positive on that game than everybody else in gaming because they see the combat and they saw I think Red Hood's combat looking stiff. looking kind of stiff and bad. But I don't know. I'm still thinking that uh, I'll judge it when when I play it. Yeah, I'll watch you two to play. It'll be great. No, oh, it's a two player you game. Son of a bitch, <laughs> it's gonna be right. so great. <laughs> no, I think the the it's problem not is four like, player cop. It's two. Yeah, Rocksteady made amazing fucking games in that franchise. This is Montreal. This is not them. Yeah, so Correct. Rocksteady made amazing games in that yeah. franchise, yeah. and we're used to crisp combat. Like, I mean, seriously, there was some really amazing you. stuff in there. And then Montreal takes over, and it's like this is less good. And then watching the game, the actual uh, gameplay, is like, man, this doesn't look like an improvement. This looks actually maybe a little worse than some of the games that we got five, six, seven years ago. Ooh. And that's what I'm worried ah. about. And so it's like, when mm. you show me the advertisement, remember what Cyberpunk did when they yeah. fucking lied and they showed us all this amazing shit? Mm -hmm. So it's like, is this Montreal being honest? Right. Or is this like, this is like, this is the, the peak of combat. It's like, this doesn't mm -hmm. look good. So we just don't know. I just, per, I, I, until you get your Being hands on it, we won't right know. Now. Yeah. But I'm uh, not optimistic because their track record doesn't give me any no, reason no, to be optimistic. There was technical okay. issues with the Batman, uh, what, what was the one they did? Origins, Origins right? Yeah. yeah. Batman Arkham Origins, that thing had some tech issues when that thing came out. And honestly, uh, it was a disappointment, in my, in my opinion. So we'll see uh, if they can make good or what they have learned. Uh, since 2013, hoping it's good. That's a that's a long time to learn, Montreal. You better you better bring your A game this time. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> all right, we'll see. Yeah. We shall see. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure to click the link down below and engage with our sponsor. We we'll appreciate you dropping by. Come back. Oh, that's right. Also, grab some merch right now in celebration. New limited edition shirts. The only time to grab them this month featuring uh, Angry Joe. And uh, all right, cool, guys. Uh, stay tuned for episode two, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys.